Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategies we show today are for informational purposes. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. We are starting off with the gold daily chart. And as we talked about yesterday, we actually have two red candles, which we haven't really seen since the end of June here. So this, this is showing that uh, after this brilliant move, the market is breathing a little bit, trying to uh, digest digest a little bit. Uh, 1800 was hit, and now we're, we're pulling back. Um, that doesn't mean it's over, but again, uh, we have to watch the catalyst of the week. And we may not actually see that catalyst within the actual economic releases as much as we may see it from news releases, meaning commentary from, you know, the European Union, Bernanke, finance ministers, whoever may be, about the stability of their currency. Uh, and in this instance, uh, you know, people were finding safety in gold. So if the currencies become stable, we might see a little pull out because obviously they're oversold. So we'll be interested to see if we get come back and retest this, this, uh, gap up or more importantly the actual gap area matching up here with the 20 moving average on hourly we can see that we finally have come down here into some over uh sold price levels um although our point of control has moved up a little bit to 1760 it was in this price range 1750 for a while uh, but you can see this consolidation that happened uh on friday and then now we're moving down a little bit so this should be resistance, volume resistance, we'll have to see. And if that is the case, then this uh, pullback may continue. So if that weak gold, what does that mean as far as its inverse relationship with the dollar? And we can see a couple things. Our pound dollar currency pair on the daily here is continuing to consolidate. We did break down through what was a uh, uh, a value area for buyers for about two three weeks we saw buyers come in and defend this point one one point six two price level uh, we went down and came down to our other uh, support area along with the 200 moving average and now we're making a move back up doesn't necessarily mean we're going to move all the way up to 1.64 but we have to be aware that that's the next area for sellers to come in and say that um, they have found value but as we come down we can see that the volume tiered off here we um as we push down and as we move back up volume got lighter lighter and lighter which doesn't make me feel good about this coming up and testing that high we can see on our hourly that we are right in the neutral zone snaking neutral we are right below our long-term moving average more importantly nobody's really in control not the pound not the dollar even though the pound did fractionally move up and is fractionally above the dollar, you can see they're just snaking each other with no one being in control. We can see on hourly that for the last 10 hours or so, we just snaked around uh, one price level. Will we see the same in the euro dollar? Well, the euro dollar put in an inside bar, uh, again, very range bound. Uh, in this larger time range, just sitting right here in the middle. Look at our moving averages moving sideways, just showing um, the parity in the market. And we can see, you know, the lighter volume here on our doji day. We come over here, we can see we are uh, snaking around neutral, just like uh, 
the um, pound dollar we can see we're, we are a little bit below uh, long term moving average but again nobody's in, in control although we can see the dollar fading off a little bit and the euro moving up but in the end no one's in control and that's why we have this sideways action you can see the range the wedge that I'm drawing in here you can also draw that in horizontally and see if we can get a break one way or the other now where we will see a, a difference is the dollar franc and here uh, we put in our inside bar we moved up higher and now we have run and test our 20 moving average so it should be interesting to see if the sellers say okay that's enough and push us down or if we make it all the way to the 50 moving average now as you can see up here it was and over here the 50 moving average was the last area of resistance before we pushed down the 20 was observed on a couple occasions but we may actually see that now one of the reasons we see that is because we could actually come in here on a daily and draw in an additional number right about here so just some some price levels that we can watch when we come over to our alley, we can see we are above neutral. We're actually in a sell zone, which matches up with that 20 moving average. So we are in a sell zone. We are above our long-term moving average. However, the dollar is in control. Although we see some parallel uh, action, the dollar is in control, which would allow us to move higher. We can see that the uh, franc really tailed off here at the end, which allowed us to get this last little move higher. As we move to our watch list for our low volatility watch list, which is our one hour Bollinger Band setup, we're going to be watching the Euro Yen. For our inside bar watch list, where we're going to be watching the high and low of today's range or Friday's range and compared to Thursday's range and looking for a breakout, especially in the direction of the trend, we're going to be watching the dollar Canadian, the dollar yen, the euro dollar, and the euro yen. As we move to our education, uh, we're talking about one of the most overlooked aspects of trading, and that is only risk which you can afford to lose. One of the main reasons traders lose is not because of the setup. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of trading setups on Google. Just go Google it. You'll find thousands of websites trying to sell you or try to give away setups, and there's nothing wrong with that. What is wrong or where traders make a mistake is in the their ability to implement that setup with regards to their balance. If that setup has a, a much larger st stop than you can handle, uh, that's why you'll see a trade work because they had a bigger stop, but you got stopped out or you stopped yourself out and you blew out half your account. So... Uh, but the setup works a lot of times it's not the setup as much as the man management so you need to make sure that you're trading with regards to how much capital you have and with regards to the setup and the system that you're doing takes in effect how much money you have and how much money you can afford to risk you know about our videos we got Facebook YouTube and Twitter we have a page on Facebook are you financially literate we've got our free video course that helps you just uh, walk you through the steps of designing your own high probability trading setups. Uh, but we believe it's not as much about the setups as much as it is about the trader's mindset. And our coaching can help you develop that uh, mindset to be a successful trader. Uh, if you're going to trade, why not get paid to trade? You can get rebates. It doesn't change the spreads, it doesn't change the conditions, just rebates for your trading. And finally, we do have automated signals for you. You can go look at the providers, find the one that matches you, that matches your risk tolerance, that matches your uh, capital. And you can have it traded automatically or you can trade it yourself. Again, it's not about the system. It's not about the indicator. It's not about the provider as much as it is about you developing a trader's mindset. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.